What's up everybody? It is the day after Go Skate Day 2022, so it is June 22nd, and I did not go skate for Go Skate Day. I was working, but I'm gonna make it up this weekend because I'm heading up to go check out the skate parks in Huntsville and Aurelia and Barry. We're gonna hit this little little pocket of skate parks, and I can't can't believe I haven't been. I, I went to Barry year like years and years ago, but I haven't been to these parks before, so I'm pretty excited. And my wife Chris is coming along. So you were on the very first episode when I went to Waterloo. Sure. And then you joined me for the winter episode when we took off in December. Sure. And she's back now. So that's you enough. You didn't skate anything that trip, did you? No. It so was it wasn't really a trip, was it? It was a trip. I just didn't skate. No. Oh. But we did check out the parks. <laughs> it was covered in snow. It was covered in snow. All right, but I don't think Barry is covered in snow because we just are climbing out of another heat wave here in Ontario. But that's okay, because I get there early before the sun is slapping you in the face. And it's time to get going now. It's one of those trips where we're leaving at night, finding ourselves a nice little Walmart to park in. And that way I don't have to make the uh, few hour drive first thing in the morning, especially when you got to go through Toronto. It is, it is a nightmare going through Toronto. So I'm going to do it tonight. All right, let's head off to the Walmart in Aurelia. up we are here in Huntsville after a short drive from our Walmart stay overnight and uh, I am super stoked about this park first of all the park looks really good and secondly it's tucked away in this little nook here and uh, feels very Muskoka very north and here we are at the Huntsville skate park so let's check this place out shall we
that's it for our time here in Huntsville and I absolutely love this park super good uh, the bowls really cool the bowls very tight like the transitions are tight um, and it would take me probably half a day to really get the layout for the bowl so that I could really comfortably carve through it um, concrete is a little old so it's a little grippy like um, you know so if you land your trick a little a little off it, it's gonna be difficult to squeak it straight but other than that everything's in great shape there's no like major damage to the park and if you're in this area 100% it's worth coming and checking out Huntsville but I have another park to hit today and we're gonna head back to Aurelia where we just came from but I just had to jet out and check out Huntsville let's head on back to Aurelia to the skate park there skate park along the waterfront here it doesn't look like a big one but uh, it's a little later in the morning it's about 11 a.m. so it looks like we got a couple of guys at the park already and I'll have a little bit of company to skate with it for the Aurelia skate park skate park is a little bunk I'm not gonna lie uh, as you saw their their bowl I don't know we'll call it a bowl it, it kind of transitions and then just has this like ledge at the top but I will say this sometimes some of the sort of like sketchier sort of broken down old parks are, are the most fun and I actually had a lot of fun here because it becomes more challenging when everything's kind of wonky you know, even a simple trick becomes a really cool trick. So I actually really enjoyed this skate park, but that's all we got here today. And uh, we're gonna stay at a campground here in Aurelia, but we still got a little while before we can check in. So I think Chris and I are gonna head down to the waterfront with the dogs and hang out uh, until our campground opens up. And I got some footage to edit. And then tomorrow morning, we head down to Barry on the way home. And I'm gonna stop and check out that park. So of course I'm bringing you along, but that's it for the skate park here and let's go uh, relax for the afternoon.
Good morning. Had a great time at the uh, at the campground, Heidi's little uh, hideaway. Beautiful weather, and Chris and I just hung out, did some editing. She worked for a little bit. We had a nice little dinner, watched a movie. It's great. And we're here at the Barry Skate Park. Let's take a little look around. Mm-hmm. I was here years ago, like absolutely years ago, probably 20 plus years ago. It doesn't look like a lot has changed since, but as usual, let's go and take you for a little tour. Let's check out the obstacles and then let's get a skate this morning, shall we? Okay, what do you want what do you want me to say, Barry? What do you want me to say? Look at this quarter pipe. First of all, the transition is in like three stages and it's a concrete quarter pipe that is kinked. How the fuck does that happen? Look at the look at the coping. Like what what are you gonna do up here? I don't even get this. A lot of the ramps are kind of messed up at the bottom, and that tends to happen a lot of skate parks where the transition meets the you know the pad that's been put in and it starts to drop like we got this look at how short and tall this little tiny ledge is <laughs> you're just gonna kiss it when you when you do a trick on it um, I'm I don't mind round rails but the one thing I don't like are, I, I don't like big fat round rails and I'm sure everybody would agree that they're more difficult to skate when they're big and fat like this uh, no matter what I did over here on this line, it did not matter. I could not get even enough speed. No matter how hard I pumped through this, I couldn't even get enough speed to, to get up onto that little uh, curvy platform. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> like the park is super old and you know, there's some good ledges and a couple of flat bars here. So if you're like hardcore street skater, maybe you're content with some of the stuff in here. But overall, it's a very old park and parks were designed differently 20 years ago. So a lot of these, the obstacles in here are kind of, like they're kind of outdated, right? Um, and you don't need like multiple pyramids in, in the same park. So obviously if this thing was being rebuilt today with the space that's here, it could just be amazing. But the park is old, it's pretty beat up. And in my, my opinion, and no offense to anybody if you love this park, but in my opinion, not a very good design. I have been to, like literally well over a hundred parks here in Ontario alone. I've been to parks all through the US. And uh, sorry Barry, but this is a bit of a lemon. I'm sure you guys know this, the locals know that this is not the best park and maybe you guys travel out of the city to go and find uh, another park to skate. Sorry Barry, um, but we ended the trip on a low note this time, but at least we had a couple of great parks yesterday. And 
we've got more parks to come. So we're only part way into the, we're only like two days into official summer right now. We have a lot more to hit this year. I'm going straight through until November and we're gonna get them all done this season. So that being said, I'm gonna climb back in the van with my wife. We're gonna probably head down to the waterfront so I can take the dogs for a little walk. And then we're headed home so I can edit this up and produce another episode for you guys. And until the next episode, I hope you guys get out, find yourself a new park to skate, keep yourself stoked. Support the community too, right? When I stop in these communities, you know, I try and buy some lunch or fill up the, the gas tank. I try and do something to put some money back into the community that I've come to visit. Hopefully you do that too. And that being said, I will see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.